What's going on, everybody? Hey, YouTube, what's up? I don't know. What's going on, everybody? Oh, uh, I got the link up here. Wow. Hello, YouTube. Let's up. Let's... What? God. Wow. I've tried to do this intro like four different times now, so we're just gonna do the video. All right. We're looking at Linux 100 and MITRE CTF. Um, description is our team has gained access, limited access to an important system. Can you help us escalate our privilege and find the flag? Challenge is called Getting Ahead, and we're given another SSH connection here. So let's jump in. Got a terminal open. Let's make a directory 100 points, Getting Ahead. I don't know how much I like saying those words, you know what I'm saying? Um, let's get a little connect script going. Just some bin bash shebang line. When when your shebang line <laughs> is the same, when your script is essentially the same length as the shebang line, as in it's only one line, is it really a script? <laughs> uh, so we've got this file here, hack me, it's in red, so we know that there's a set UID binary set on it. It's owned by root, and owned by root, both user and group. So it looks like we're going to be getting uh, to use this binary to escalate our privileges, right? I'm assuming we need to read the flag again in root.flag, as we kind of discovered for the last challenge. Um, we'd use find name like flag.txt, and that let us determine, okay, the file with a name flag.txt is in this directory. Maybe not. I might I have close out of it too quick. Or maybe it's just not letting us look into four slash root. You know what? Whatever. Let's do the thing. <laughs> We've got this binary that we can run with a forward slash, and it says yada yada yada, and that's it. So let's do some basic, like, low-hanging fruit file reconnaissance on it. Let's just run strings, which thankfully we've thankfully we've got. Uh, I'll scroll through some of this stuff, and that's about all that we have here. Same random binary information that we get. I see the system command in here, though, the system function, so I'm assuming it's running a command, and it looks like head var log auth dot log is also in here. So that's kind of peculiar. Did, is yada 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 in here at all? No. Is var... Oh, oh, create a new terminal. My bad. Is var log auth log just simply yada yada yada? <laughs> okay, that's fine. So we can assume right now that it's running the system function to call a command or run a command. It's assuming it's running head. So where is head? It's in user bin head. Well, let's check out our path. We have user bin like included in our path. You can see it over there. But we also have home CTF bin or our current home directory, like a folder in our current home directory that we could just make and that's in the very, very front of the path. So it'll execute that first because it'll find the binaries that it's looking for or the commands in that location first. So why not try and copy bin bash to this new bin directory that we made in our home directory and let's call it head. So we've essentially overwritten. We, we didn't overwrite the original file, but we put a temporary replica super duper air quote replica because it's not really the head command it's just bash it'll give us a shell when it tries to run this so let's try and run hack me and it's funny okay we get an error line one yada 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 command not found so looks like it's trying to run yada 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 as well now which is odd because i'm assuming bin bash and then the actual output of whatever that that file is so let's you know what? Okay, let's play along. Let's copy bin bash to also uh, in our bin directory, yada, yada, yada. Because at this point, like, I don't care. Shut up about your errors. Just give me a shell. Run hack me. And now, you can check it out. We are root at this container with our pound tag symbol. So run ID. Who am I? We're root. We got it. Cool. Let's move into the root directory. And there is the flag that, for some reason, I mean obviously because we couldn't read in the roots home directory. But now we can, because we are the root user. So let's cat that out, and we've got the flag. Sweet. So let's save this. Create a little flag.txt file. Um, a little bit of, like, notion to work in that. So not really the best thing to create a get flag script for, but we might as well jot down the solution. Um, copy bin bash to, or let's make a directory for ourselves, right? First home... Make directory bin, copy bin bash, bin, head was the command that we wanted, right? And then yada, yada, yada. And then we can run hack me. I think it had, yep. 
and then we can go ahead and cat root flag dot text. And that that's that's the process that we had run through. So super quick, super small write up that we just used to key, kind of remind us of the solution in case we ever have to go back to this again. I think that's super important. Uh, save all the work that you do in a, in a capture the flag in a Git repo, just like a data dump. It doesn't matter what you do. Uh, hey, look, the other video just finished. Oh, you can't see it because my face is in the way. Dude, it's so much fun. YouTube is so much fun. Oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun. Hey, if you like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Discord server. It's a cool community full of CTF players and programmers and hackers alike. Thanks, everybody. See you later.